Hi there, I'm Ludwig, this is SQL Bootcamp Online, the 2-minute SQL series, although in this episode I'm 100% sure we'll not make it by the 2-minute mark, but the 2-minute SQL, the uh, series when I'm addressing the most common questions about SQL Server and Azure. So in today's episode I'm going to show you the most straightforward step-by-step -step way of how to create an Azure SQL database, all right? So without further ado, let me just jump straight to my little screen share. As you can see in here, I do have my brand new, um, brand new uh, Azure subscription account. There are no resources in here whatsoever. Again, if you do want to know how to make Azure portal in the dark mode. I do have a uh, video on that as well. But right now what we want to start with is Azure SQL database. So I'm just creating a brand new SQL database in here. All I need to do, all I need to start with is to provide it with my subscription name that again uh, will be uh, will be unique. I need to create a resource group. Now please know that both subscription uh, types and <clears throat> how to create those and resource groups and how to create those they are all already explained or will be explained as well depending on when you're watching this video on this SQL Bootcamp YouTube channel so don't forget to subscribe and go through all of those videos if you want to but don't trust the YouTube algorithm make sure that you'll go to SQL Bootcamp online in order to sign up for the mailing list so you will get notified when the new videos are up let me just remind you about this link real quick boom sqlbootcamp.online just like that but back to our presentation so I do have my subscription here i have already created the resource group for for the dp050 course that you may also uh, be familiar with and the next thing is that i need to start with a database name so let's say that i want to create demo database again the database name needs to be unique across the particular uh, particular SQL, azure sql server so as you can see the demo something that everyone can use all over the world will be perfectly fine i don't have any servers in here so what i need to do is i need to create the server first now the server is a virtual container for all of my databases that will be connected or they that will reside within that virtual container okay think about it as a folder for your databases azure sql databases that you'll create in here please know that creating a sql server the azure sql server um it's just a very straightforward process because all you need to do is you need to give it a name. Now, again, let me start with a demo. As you can see, this name is already used. The, the server name needs to be uh, globally unique because you will be connecting to that SQL server, Azure SQL server. So it has to be unique globally. So what I'll do is I'll just call it Ludwig C dash demo. And boom, right now it is unique. It uh, doesn't contain any reserved words. And I just used the uh, hyphen in here and or the minus without anything else. I need to choose the location here. Okay, the recommend one is US East since I'm located in Europe. I'll just go with the West Europe in here. Now, the last question that remains is what kind of authentication I can use. Again, we will explain the different types of authentication on this channel so as usual i'll just keep repeating that don't forget to subscribe but don't trust the youtube uh, algorithm uh, on its own just go to U sql bootcamp online and sign up for the list but i don't want to use the azure active directory authentication i don't want to use both azure uh, azure active directory authentication and sql i just want to stack with sql right now in order to prove the point that we can really do that in an easy way so in order to do that i need to create create a username and a password that I'll use to log in. So again, I'll just type in my typical handle, so Ludwig C, and I'll type in my password. No. ta -da. I should have created this GIF in here saying five minutes later. Uh, when I'm typing in those passwords. All right, that's it. I'll hit OK. 
and voila, my server Ludwig C demo was created just like that, right? So you can see that this is truly a virtual container. It doesn't have anything else to configure than just the location and the name of the user <clears throat> that you'll be connecting there. Now, I don't want to use the uh, elastic pools. I do have the general purpose machine already chosen. We'll not go into the details that it has to be the uh, as a short as possible way in here. Now, I don't want to choose from geo redundant, non zero redundant. I'll just stuck with, stick with the locally redundant backup storage, which will just limit it to the one data center. I'll go for my networking. Now, how do I want to be able to connect to this uh, to this particular SQL database? I don't want to keep it with no access. I do want to create a public endpoint in here in order to be able to access it from the internet as well. If I had some kind of a, if I had some kind of a um, Azure services that would be connecting to this server, I could turn this access on. I don't need to do that right now. And I may want to add a current IP address of my machine in order to be able to connect to that um, server, right? Otherwise, since the firewalls are also explained on this YouTube channel, but uh, the firewalls will deny all the traffic unless you will whitelist your IP. So that's what we need to do in here. So I want to do that right away. And I don't want to select anything else. Everything else stays uh, default. I'll just go to the con uh, um, to the security in here. I don't want to start a free trial trial of uh, Microsoft Defender. I don't want to configure the ledger. I don't want to configure the identity. I don't want to um, encryption the TDE. So the transparent data uh, encryption for my data as rest. I'll go to the additional settings. Well, I would like to have some kind of a database in there. So instead of just leaving it empty, I may want to provide it with the backup file right away. But the thing is that in order to do so, I would have to have that backup already in my Azure Blob Storage. So instead, I'll just use the Azure AdventureWorks LT database, which is the most common one that you'll see on every demo out there. So, yeah, I could tag that uh, resource. I don't need to do that right now. So I'll just review that and create. As you can see, everything is in here. Boom, boom, boom. I could download the template for the, um, for the automation, but I'll just hit create and three, two, one. Here we go. There is my database being initialized. Then the deployment is being initialized. Deployment is being submitted. And let me just press pause for a second to make sure that we will not lose any of your valuable time and I'll just play you the logo in between. And boom, my deployment is complete. As you can see, everything went fine. Boom, I see my deployment details that the server was created, the firewalls rules were created, so my IP address is being whitelisted right now, and my actual demo database was created as well. Now, what I need to do is I need to somehow connect to this database. So let me just go back to my home. I can see that I have this demo in here. I can go to this a database in here and on the right hand side, let me just go back to the overview, I see my server name, all right? So this is the very first step of me connecting to this uh, database. I'll just copy to clipboard this server name and from this moment on, all I need to do is I need to land some kind of an application that will allow me to indeed log in. So I, the most common choices are either SQL Server Management Studio or Azure Data Studio. Since I'm working on a Mac, and I don't have access to SSMS from a Mac, I'll just use Azure Data Studio for that matter. So here you can see my Azure Data Studio. Now in Azure Data Studio, I need to start and create a connection. Now I'll be asked whether I want to connect to some other server than SQL Server, but this is what I want to, to use and I'll just paste the address of my SQL, Azure SQL Server that I copied from my 
uh, Azure portal. Now the authentication, again, it won't be Azure Active Directory, uh, Directory as we agreed, this will be a, an SQL login. So I'll provide with my username and the password that I created earlier. I may want to remember that password and then right this very moment, if my, uh, if my um, authentication will succeed, then I can see my demo database right away. I'll hit connect and boom, the demo database on the left hand side, you can see that I'm connected to this server. I see all of my tables and I can start selecting and querying my uh, SQL, Azure SQL database right away. As you've seen, this is a very straightforward process, but I didn't take any chance in here, right? I did not create any additional setting. I didn't change any additional setting. This was just the Microsoft next, 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 next finish way of creating Azure SQL database. But the purpose of this little demo was to show you that there's nothing to be afraid of. If you want to sign up for, for a free trial of Azure, go ahead. If you sign up for any of the Microsoft official courses, most of the time you'll get the Azure Pass that will give you some credit so you can use it against your learning um, process on Azure portal as well, or you can ask Microsoft for some uh, incentives if you're, a, if you're a partner as well. But again, there is nothing to be afraid of. You can just jump straight in and start learning the clicks as the guy in a cube says most of the time. So again, Thank you very much. I hope you found this video uh, useful, but don't forget to subscribe. I'm saying that like third or fourth time right now, because this kind of videos that will take you from point A to point B, these are the reasons behind, this is the reason behind the existence of this channel. So if you want to have the difficult concepts explained in a very simple terms, this channel is for you. In the next videos, we will be taking every single step of this journey on our uh, on our plate and then we'll start explaining what are the different settings that we just flew through in this video thank you very much guys i'm ludwig this is sql bootcamp online and i'll see you in the next episode